In a shocking announcement, Lance Armstrong says that he's ending his latest challenge against charges of illegal doping. The seven-time Tour de France winner says he's tired of defending himself against allegations he's used performance-enhancing drugs. The decision means the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has stripped Armstrong of his yellow jerseys and banned him from competitive cycling for life. The USADA says Armstrong not only doped himself but also ran a complex doping ring that involved many of his teammates. What does it say? Does it say that Lance Armstrong knew that he couldn't win? Does it say that he, deep down inside that he, he thinks he's guilty? Uh, there's so many questions that are left unanswered. In a statement on his website, Armstrong says, quote, there comes a point in every man's life when he has to say enough is enough. That time is now, unquote. He also insisted he was innocent, claiming the U.S. ADA was on a witch hunt and pointing out that he'd passed hundreds of drug tests. And like the rest of the world, the local cycling community is digesting and dissecting this announcement. Some worry it will steer negative attention towards the sport. Bike shops in Asheville rarely slow down. Feels fast. Keeping a steady pace in a cycling community that was propelled by a star. I think he's an incredible cyclist and he put together an incredible team for many, many years. At first glance, you might think Dale McCourt wore yellow today for a reason. This is a shirt uh, my wife and I picked up in Italy, so it, it actually does not. A coincidence, yes, but McCourt is still a fan of the man in the yellow jersey. I think it's an awful thing. I, my wife and I were talking, I think, who the heck did he piss off? News came Thursday that Lance Armstrong's seven Tour de France titles will be wiped from the record books and likely his 2000 Olympic bronze medal. He's also banned from the sport for life. I do applaud cycling uh, in particular for its uh, very strong anti-doping stance and that if all sports tested to the stringency of cycling, um, I think we'd have a lot of sports that have a whole lot less athletes. The news of Armstrong being stripped of his wins comes after he chose to stop fighting doping allegations, leading some to believe he indeed had something to hide. We don't want to uh, uh, see the whole uh, sport of cycling tarnished uh, by what's happened here, because again, in the end, we really don't know the true story. We don't know what's, what all's really happened. Uh, with not going through arbitration, we, we, we never will know. But despite the unknown, Liberty Bicycles points to Armstrong for bringing attention to the lesser known sport in the United States. He's helped, obviously, bike shops themselves uh, have a very, uh, sell a lot of bicycles and have a lot of people really want to get involved in a sport that is obviously very good for them. A sport that these cyclists hope will go on full speed ahead. That they won't lose faith in, in cycling. Uh, cycling is a, is a wonderful sport. And local cyclist and Olympic silver medalist Lauren Tomeo sent this statement to the news. We are all aware of Lance's decision and the actions USADA intends to take. Our sport of cycling has endured a lot surrounding the subject, and I think it's time to turn the page and move forward.